In this video, we will discuss regarding different types of coupling and their applications. So, first question, what is a coupling? Coupling is a mechanical device that is used to connect two shafts together for the purpose of power transmission. Those shafts are called input shaft and output shaft or driving shaft and driven shaft. In this figure, a coupling is used to transmit the power from motor to pump. What are the purposes of coupling? Transmit the power from driving shaft to driven shaft. Absorb the misalignment between two shafts. Absorb the vibrations to protect surrounding products. Resist the heat transfer from the motor to the driven side. Easy to assemble and disassemble. Coupling can be classified into two types, rigid coupling and flexible coupling. Rigid couplings are used to connect two perfectly aligned shafts. These types of couplings do not allow any relative motion between two shafts. In the other side, flexible coupling are used to connect two non-aligned shafts. These are used to protect the machine members against harmful effects produced due to misalignment of shafts, vibration, sudden shock load, or shaft expansion. Examples of rigid couplings are 1. Sleeve or muff coupling 2. Clamp or split muff coupling or compression coupling 3. Flange coupling Again, there are two types of flanged coupling such as unprotected and protected type. Similarly, examples of flexible couplings are 1. Bush pin type flange coupling 2. Oldham's coupling 3. Universal coupling or hooks joint Let's discuss one by one. Sleeve or muff coupling. It is made up of cast iron and very simple to design and manufacture. It consists of hollow cylinder, muff, whose inner diameter is same as diameter of shaft as shown in figure. Sleeve or muff coupling are used where precise alignment between shafts is required and minimal flexibility is needed. Example, small electric motors, pumps, blowers and compressors, conveyor systems, machinery in textile mills, etc. Next is split muff or clamp coupling. In split muff coupling, the muff or sleeve is made into two halves parts of cast iron and they are joined together by means of mild steel studs or bolts and nuts as shown in figure. Split muff coupling are used where ease of assembly and disassembly is important. Example, conveyor systems, pumps and fans, mining equipment, agricultural machinery, textile mills, etc. Next is flange coupling. There are two types of flanged coupling, unprotected and protected type. First discuss unprotected type flange coupling. This coupling is having two separate cast iron flanges as shown in figure. Each flange is mounted on the shaft's end and keyed to it. The two flanges are coupled together by help of bolts and nuts. This are used where high torque is required, but safety concerns like the risk of flying debris are minimal. Example, high torque electric motors, compressors, heavy duty conveyors, steel rolling mills, power plants, etc. Whereas in protected flanged coupling, a flange is provided with shroud which shelters the bolt heads and nuts as shown in figure is called protected type flange coupling. This coupling prevents catching clothes of workmen. These are used where high torque is required, but safety is also a concern. Example, heavy industrial machinery, large pumps and compressors, power generation equipment, marine engines, mining equipment, etc. Next is bush pin type flange coupling. It is one of the example of flexible type of coupling. This is the modified form of flange coupling. This type of coupling has a pins and it work as a coupling bolts. The rubber or leather bushes are used over the pins. The coupling is having two halves are dissimilar in construction as shown in figure. The pins are rigidly fastened by nuts to one of the flange and kept loose in the other flange. Bush pin type flange coupling are used where slight misalignment between shafts is expected and there is a need to absorb shocks and vibrations. Example, elevators and hoists, conveyor systems, agricultural equipment, textile mills, industrial pumps, etc. Next is Oldham's coupling. It consists of two flanges with slots and a central floating disc as shown in figure. The disc having two tongues at right angles. The one tongue is fitted into the slot of first flange and allows horizontal sliding relative motion with the other tongue is fitted into the slot of the second flange and allows for vertical sliding relative motion. Oldham coupling is used in connecting two parallel shafts but not in alignment, and their axes are at small distance apart. Example, CNC machines, small pumps, 
printers and scanners, robotics, conveyor belts, etc. The last one is universal coupling or hooks joint. The motion is transmitted from the driving shaft to driven shaft through a cross. It consists of two similar forks keyed on the ends of the two shafts as shown in the figure. These two forks are assembled to a central block by pin. A central block having two arms at right angle to each other. Universal coupling or hooks joint is used to connect two shafts at an angle and can transmit torque even when the shafts are not in perfect alignment. Example, automotive driven shafts, railway vehicles, steering systems, industrial machinery, textile machines, etc. Different parts of universal coupling are shown in the figure. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.